Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. SCX24 brushed motor on 3S. That's not super popular so far. Probably because the original SCX24 electronics are only meant for 2S and the super popular Furitech Lizard ESC, those ones which work with brushed and brushless motors are also only rated for 2S and only the large Tego is rated for 3S. But now there has been released a new version of the Furitech Lizard, the Pro, which also works on 3S. So probably 3S will be more popular in future. I run my SCX24s on 3S already for a long time. Because I don't use the Lizard ESC for brushed motors, I did already show you there are cheaper ESCs for brushed motors with better performance than the Lizard. Those are the Model Borregia DE ESCs, the AS126, I love it. And in this SCX24, I do have a AS126 and a small PC and I run it on 2S now. You see a small 2S LiPo here and also on 3S. Mostly I run it on 3S. This truck, this Grave Digger is my tribute to RC Athletes truck. I guess you know his channel, Lyle, and his funny dog, Molly. RC Athletes. Last winter he played around a lot with his baby Digger and also with RC Sparks when he was still in Calgary. On the indoor course, I love those videos and I bought this Grave Digger from Amazon, super cheap. Yes. And built this truck. This was a deadbolt, but there's not a lot of deadbolt anymore. There is still the frame, the central transmission, drive shafts, and the interior of the axles, everything else is upgraded, metal axle housings, brass, low center of gravity battery mount, and I run it with a GMR tiny receiver for my Flysky Noble. Here you see the ESC, the tiny ESC with BEC. Here the magnets, they also work as light connection, so I don't have a wire mess as many to run the wires of the lights from here to here. And in this grave digger, I also could finally use those super cheap on off switches from AliExpress. Normally I don't like those because they do have on off, but you always have to go over this blinking mode. To, and that's not super cool for scale trucks, but I guess for a grave digger, that's quite nice and cool so I can switch on the blinking mode and I can switch on full lights and you see if the body sits firmly or not and best thing in this truck those are the new RC four wheel drive 1.0 I guess mud basher those new tires they are awesome but we don't want to talk about this truck now I want to show you the difference between 3S LiPos and 2S LiPos in an SCX24. But I know a lot of people will ask, what lights did I use? I used those 8mm LEDs, red ones, and painted them with Tamiya Clear Red. So two of those in series, not in parallel, and I used them without a resistor and here is the small light switch you get those for cheap on ebay early everywhere what do we expect if we run the sx24 on 3s of course we expect more power more punch and more speed but more power and more punch is this really necessary to my own big surprise and i will show you quite a bit of running footage later on quite hard obstacles the 3s lipo the more power and the more punch and speed doesn't bring really advantages in climbing and in crawling because it seems that the sx24 is already strong enough with 2s but of course you want the higher speed that's quite nice so now it's on 2s and you see 
that's maximum speed and I can of course crawl super slow with those ESCs. And now I switch it to 3S. I use those 180 milliamp hours, 3S, Turnigy LiPos, Nanotech, unfortunately Hobby King doesn't stock them anymore. I have a ton of those from my microplanes and helis and whatever. And runtime with the 180 milliamp hours LiPos is about 15 minutes for playing. So, but of course you could also use larger ones, 370 milliamp hours, 3S, that's about the same as the stock 2S LiPo of the SX24 does have. So, and now it's on 3S, and what do we see? Yes, speed has improved, and it's still possible to do super slow scroll. And yeah, check the speed now. Here you can see the SX24 on 2S, so that's normal SX24 speed. And here now on 3S, so it's significantly faster, probably one third faster, one cell faster. And here you can see 2S and 3S set up in comparison. And now let's make some crawling tests with 2 and 3S. This little SCX24 Grave Digger is quite a performer, of course, the heavy body driver figure. That's not perfect. It would be even a better performer, probably, if I would use a super light and low body as the petty body. But I like the look. Performance is not everything for me. But let's check it out now on some quite difficult obstacles and also climbing tests. And you will be surprised about the results comparing the 2S setup with the 3S setup. So now let's check the capabilities here on this small hill of branches on 2S. One side the incline is not steep and on this side that's quite a steep incline. Not every tiny truck can do this and even on 2S you see you think you will need more punch here but it's more on the line and those tires really perform awesome so you would think here you would need more punch 3s but here again but line is more important and tires are super important than those RC4 wheel drive tiny mud bashers I guess they are really awesome and even here not more punch needed and those are difficult obstacles and now on 3S and to my surprise it doesn't really perform better You see, you need punch here, but you have to take care not to be too fast. You tip over. No problem on 3S, but not more difficult at all with the 2S LiPo. And, of course, you can fall. And tumbling over is easier with 3S than it is with 2S. Because you do have more punch. And it's more difficult to adjust proper throttle input. And those are really, really 
difficult inclines, so many of my trucks will not do this. And now let's check the same on this hill of pebble stones from the river. And here on the steep side, that's really difficult. They are really smooth and slippery, but those tires do awesome. And here on 2S, it seems as it wouldn't be any problem, but you can believe me, that's a really difficult incline and you can fall, you can slip. But those tires, awesome. And that's on 2S and there is not one second where you would miss power or more punch. Can do everything on 2S. And now let's compare it to the baby grave digger on 3S, more punch of course, more power, but not a better performance. My SCX24 Grave Digger performs awesome with 2S and with 3S LiPos. The only real advantage is the higher speed on 3S, that's quite nice to have. But in crawling, the more power you get from the 3S LiPo, you do not really need. And you can fall with both 2S and 3S. And now a really steep incline, 57 degree. That's about the maximum the grave digger can do for it tumbles over and that's now only on 2S. And on the left side, super grippy surface, that's grip tape, so tires shouldn't be, shouldn't have a big effect. And you see on 2S, try to go slow, 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 but not more power needed. Smooth, careful, slow incline, more than 57 degree. Probably it would be more, do more even with a lighter body. And now the same incline on 3S with the 3S LiPo, so much more power and punch. But it's not easier, it's even a little bit more difficult to climb this obstacle or this incline on 3S because you have to take much more care with a throttle trigger not to give too much power otherwise it will tumble over and will it do it on 3S? let's check this so the end is near nearly at the end and now there's a stop and throttle and watch fall down but it can do it on 3s2 but in my opinion this is even easier on 2s 2s power that's the barrage motor inside is by far sufficient to do this incline and steeper isn't possible anymore because the truck will fall and on 3S you have to take much more care and the same incline more than 57 degrees on a super smooth surface so that's only wood and that's really slippery but those RC4-wheel drive tires, they perform really 
fantastic. You can see this here on 2S and it's maybe even easier to do this on the slippery surface than on the super grippy surface because you don't have to take care so much about the throttle input and it's unbelievable. It does the same incline on the slippery surface as it can do on the super creepy surface. And the same now on 3S again. And again you have to super carefully give throttle input. It's more difficult than on 2S. It will do it, it will do it, nearly on the top. Again, fell down, but I have to admit I also fell down once on 2S, so it's not super easy on 2S. but it's also able to do it on 3S, as you can see here now. Super slow, as slow as possible, as smooth as possible, and let the tires do their work. Those awesome RC four-wheel drive tires. And here you go. So this was quite a surprise for me because 3S, as I do have it inside now, doesn't really improve the climbing abilities and the crawling abilities of the truck. And there's of course one probably downside of running on 3S. You see I do have a barrage motor here. The small brushed motors will probably fade out earlier than they do on 2S. But they run hot if you really push it hard and go on high speed for quite a bit then you will feel that the motor is quite hot but it runs also hot on 2S. You will need more brushed motors and that's probably the biggest advantage of a brushless motor because if you think if I would install this Komodo motor, Furitech Komodo motor in this truck it will perform better then you are wrong. It will for sure not perform better, but it will perform worse because of the much higher center of gravity and the much heavier motor. But the brushless motor will last longer, of course. And you have this super, super, super slow crawl, which you probably won't use during crawling normally, but much lower speed and yeah, center of gravity penalty. And more power of the brushless motor for sure, but as you've seen now, I don't know if more power is really needed. Even the 3S power is not needed. However, I run it mostly on 3S because more speed, that's quite fun. And if you are on a competition with your friends, of course, being faster will be a factor that you will have to consider too. So go on 3S. If you like it, or well stay on 2S and you will not lose any climbing abilities of your truck, probably. Let's flash again. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. I'll be back.